Total War of Warhammer Battle Report. Today we're looking at a match between me as the Warriors of Chaos and my opponent as the Empire. And if we take... <coughs> one day, one day I'll stop coughing for some odd reason whenever I record and not during the rest of the day. Here you can see that we definitely have a big, big hill here with a big Empire army. But let's go over mine first. I play am playing as the Warriors of Chaos, obviously. My general I brought with me is Archaon, the Ever Chosen. I do not have him on any mount, although I probably should have. Because even if you, uh, even if you're like not going to charge them in, having the mount just making them faster, and also if they get attacked, having a mount makes it so they don't get knocked down. Even if you just give them like the weakest horse you can give them. My front line, however, I have six units of Chaos Warriors. I like them a lot. I kind of wish they had... All of them had helmets. And not these stupid bald heads, or at least look kind of chaosy. Because right now, they just... They're all, they all look the same. And I like them because they're, they're good damage, but mostly they're extreme... Have high leadership and very good armor. Two units of Chaos Knights, one on each flank. Two units of Chaos Spawns, also one on each flank. I really like Chaos Spawn because they do not rout. And a unit of Marauder Horsemen for skirmishing. My opponent in his defensive formation has brought three great swords, four units of spearmen, two units of handgunners, um, the Silver Bullets, which is a regiment of renown handgunners, two units of Hellblaster Volley Guns, and the Hammer of Witches, which is a great cannon. For his general, he bought a general of, an, of the Empire on a... Will it tell me what it is? Uh, I know Carl Franz has one that's named Deathclaw. Oh, it's a griffin. I think it is. It's demigriffs are ones without wings. So it should be pretty obvious what his strategy is. He is just going to use his artillery to just constantly pound me. He's using all these units to have a heavily fortified line. And he's pretty much going to use the artillery, even if it doesn't kill me, which obviously it will, to basically force me into attacking. And you know what? It's, I'm not personally a fan of camping strategies, cause I, just because I like having the map control whenever I can. But obviously, camping is... I mean, it's not a bad one. It can work. Or camping, you do give up your map control. Having a lot of artillery does kind of relieve that a bit. However, it does not fix it. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to fast forward it a bit just to where you get to the point of things actually happening. All right, that looks good. So here you can see my Chaos Spawn are moving up. Now, one thing I do is using good old Archaon. He obviously has the lore of fire. So I don't know why he charges in with his greatswords, but that coupled with casting my spell is going to cause lots of damage to those great swords, which is break completely breaking up this front line he has. Which is not at all what he should have done. So he is buffing all of his units with Fa's protection, which is a good idea. It gives you lots of armor and melee defense. Very good spell. So he brings his General of the Empire down to fight Archaon. The only thing I was worried here was if he kept just random hearing him over and over again. But if he doesn't, then Archeon will just be able to beat him. Now, I am clashing front line here. Chaos Warrior should have no problem fighting any of these. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that, and I shouldn't have said that because I did fight this battle myself. Great Swords are very good units, and they will be Chaos Warriors on one-on-one, -on -one, I am pretty sure. Um, come on, can I? Yes, they have bonus versus infantry and their armor piercing, something that both my Chaos Warriors both lack. However, now he pulls his spearmen back, and that means my Chaos Knights are free to roam, and he does an awesome job casting Net of Amnitako, and they're completely locking down those Chaos Knights. The other unit of Chaos Knights does start coming around. I get around the back of these spearmen, and I said to charge my Chaos Knights in, because as you see, all these spearmen have turned their backs and charge in. Other unit of spearmen coming around. Chaos Spawn are still holding in. And because they will not break, he's going to have to kill every single one of them. Marauder Horsemen, they're just here throwing their javelins wherever they are. 
Now, as you can see, Archeon is taking some damage, however, he is killing that General of the Empire pretty much with no problem. Especially the fact that Archeon can buff himself. Now, one thing I did not do is I was not using the Fireball spell, and I do call his General the route. With, uh, and I do send in my Chaos Wars against the Spearmen. Chaos Knights do start to rout. Probably because they're being shot by the handgunners. And the volley gun. See, these great swords, almost 60 kills here. They are very, very good units. Spearmen are charging Chaos Warriors. They're obviously not going to kill them, but they will tie them down. I do start attacking one of the Hellblaster volley guns. Chaos spawn are still in it, even though each one of them, there's only, there's only actually two of them left. And Archeon, I'm just trying to get him closer to some of my other units, and I probably should have kept him doing that. This was a bad mistake. I should have kept him moving over here. However, I decided that I'm going to try and fight him like a man. It was a bad decision, and Archeon, shut up. I do not need to hear you say everything. Chaos Warriors, I, I'm pretty sure I did order them to attack these great swords. Yes, I did. And one thing I didn't notice is that, it's kind of stupid, is that they'll keep firing artillery even in close combat. Or these other Hellblaster Volley Guns do keep firing, and I did not notice for a while that these Chaos Knights came back. That's a nice thing about the Chaos Units is they have very high leadership. However, what he does is he keeps charging in with his General of the Empire over and over again, like you can see him right here. Although he didn't. Because he can charge and knock over Archeon and then get out of the fight before Archeon can hit him. And Archeon is kill. So I do send my Marauder Horseman off to, after him because he's not going to want to fight them at all. And he keeps casting Fox Protection on those Great Swords, but eventually the Great Swords just cannot fight it anymore. Chaos Warriors are doing great against the Spearmen. Chaos Knights charging those Hammer of Witches. And finally, those Great Swords with 109, 110 kills are starting to waver. Not route, waver. And he still has a bunch of handgunners and artillery, because now those Hellblaster Volley Guns are back. Well, did he shoot some of his own men, or is that... Or is that like a horse from a Chaos Knight blowing up? I think that's what it might have been. So here he is trying to focus on those Chaos Knights. A good idea. You do want to make sure your units shatter and not just break. I do send them after those Great Swords for a while, just because I want to make sure they get that. Chaos Warriors are moving up. These Spearmen, however, they're completely fresh. They have not had to do anything this whole match. And that will help them in the fight against the Chaos Warriors, who are very tired. It will severely drop their strength. Unit of Chaos Knights still there, but I think I do finally order them to start attacking. Big bundle of Chaos Warriors here fighting these Spearmen and the Light Lizard. Light, li light Lizard. God. Light Wizard. If th These are not Lizardmen. Here I do send them in battle to fight the Hammer of the Witches. Actually, not the Hammer of the Witches, the Hellblaster Volley Gun. And you might be able to see them do it. Oh, I might just be crazy. They, yeah, they keep firing! Like, I guess it kind of makes sense, but... Yeah, I mean, none of, them, none of them are even there to fire the gun. Chaos Warriors are engaging these handgunners. I'm honestly surprised they even let me charge them. Might be doing it just so I so they'd be locked down. The rest of his handgunners could fire on them. At this point, I was pretty sure I was gonna lose. And my Marauder horsemen are chasing down these spearmen because I want to make sure they shatter. I want to make sure that they don't just rout. Chaos Warriors are chasing that light wizard. However, there's no way they are ever going to chase them because Chaos Warriors are super slow. Chasing down more of these Hellblasters. Chaos Warriors are... Kind of... It looks like they're locked in combat with these Spearmen. And they... And neither one has a big advantage. But over time, the Spearmen will start to lose as they start getting more and more tired. And especially with a second unit of Chaos Warriors starting to join this fight. So I do get those Spearmen to route so I can bring in the Marauder Horsemen. 
what unit of chaos knight comes back with 12 men i use them to start wrapping up some of these and watch this unit of hellblaster volley guns right here just keep an eye on them as long as they're on screen so i have my marauder horseman here and i know that these are my one chance to win because yes the bar does say i'm in favor but this bar that bar doesn't really mean anything right now just because everything is so close to routing he does cast Foz protection again with that light wizard i hated it so much and I do charge in those Marauder Horsemen onto those handgunners. I do not know why he was firing on the Chaos Warriors. He should have been firing on those Marauder Horsemen. The Marauder Horsemen would have dropped much, much faster. And I do send them after these Hellblaster Volley Guns. Although, again, there's... Really? You know, I wonder if that speed of 20 is just them with the guns. Because I highly doubt that they're moving slower than the Chaos Warriors. Marauder Horsemen are doing very good against the handgunners, no surprise there. Other unit of handgunners still there. The fact that the wizard's still there is a bit worrying. And he cast Father's Protection on those handgunners, which is going to make them last so much longer. Chaos Warriors begin the route against the spearmen of all the enemies they could fight. My Chaos Warriors did very well with their kill ratio, I have to say. Although Chaos, you're probably always going to be outnumbered, even in campaign. So it's not that surprising. I decided to, break, to let go of the chase on those Hellblaster Volley Gun men. I was thinking, they're not going to be able to do anything. I'll just let them go. This was not a good idea, but it ended up not being bad. But it wasn't a good idea. Not in the slightest. Oh, I may have just had to do it. Some of my Marauder Horsemen do start the route after the Silver Bullets do fire them enough. And here I was really worried because my Chaos Warriors were not going to be able to get to those Silver Bullets in time. Those Chaos Warriors finally begin to break these Spearmen. I'm very happy that this happened. I do. I decide that maybe if I can fight the Light Wizard, I'll be good because he's the only one that's confident. If we can get him the route. Maybe we'll be good. And at this point, I'm freaking out even more because I'm so worried. And to make matters worse, guess what? These Hell <coughs> <coughs> sorry for that, guys. That Hellblaster volley gun is doing. They're picking up their gun pieces again. And they're back on him. Light Wizard is is getting beat very soundly in close combat, but the silver bullets are firing. And that's when I finally realize, oh shit. Here come the Chaos Warriors. Hoping that they can get there in time. I was hoping that this little hill would save me. They're charging. They get the little speed bonus. And... Right there, they decided to break. They were so close, and they broke. However, at this point, it's only the Hellblaster Volley Guns left. But that does not mean it's impossible for me to lose, because really, he only has to get one volley off on, with a good amount of hits on each of these Chaos Warriors, to win. Like I say, I think I said this in my last playthrough, all that last episode of my Dark Elves playthrough, not that most of you watch it. You guys really like these battle reports. And by that, I mean all... I think my first bow, new battle report I did had 19. 19 views compared to, like, probably no more than ever 6 on my Dark Elves playthrough. So I'm still only going to be doing them Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's not going to change. I just don't think I can do them every day. And here I was really afraid if these two units were going to route... However, I finally do get in close combat, and that was pretty much the end right there. Although, they do were out right as they got in the combat. So, I will be getting Hearts of Iron 4 out at some point. And, hey, there we go. Pirate victory. So, the enemy has cost you dearly, do even as though they call it a victory. Let's see if we can take a look at... Yeah, let's take a look at this ending screen real quick. Archeon got a whole of 7 kills, though. He did cause a lot of damage, too. He essentially killed 
the Empire General, although he did not route it. Chaos Warriors. Shout out to the Chaos Warriors who got three kills. Or 51, 125, 39, 138, 60. And I think it's pretty easy to tell who the, each of them were fighting. Spearmen, spearmen, no doubt. Pro these guys were probably great swords. And for these two, it could have been a combination of both. I can't tell you. Again, these guys were fighting mostly great swords and some handgunners. Chaos Knights. This one didn't do as good as I was hoping. But 136 kills on that one unit of Chaos Knights. Very good. And the Marauder Horseman getting a surprising 62. And then these great swords only got seven. I'm pretty sure those were the ones that were killing off the Chaos Spawn. So it's a seven, but it's a meaningful seven. And then 110 and 80, and that was Chaos Warriors. And then 30 kills on that Spearman. I still can't believe it. And obviously, zero kills in that Journal of the Empire. Really, zero? No! Don't all. Oh. Wait. Wait. That means if he got zero kills, that means... One of the horsemen killed Archeon. Oh my god. So, uh, I mean, he, Archeon was probably going to die anyway in that situation because of what I was doing. But that means I killed Archeon myself with my horsemen. Amazing that I... Whatever. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you all next time. Peace!